Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families, as always. Please remember to stay only in the higher the vibrational energy and only in the purest of white light. Okay, I return to source. I return to center all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light once again. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you is returned to you. Anything your enemy garnered or gained off of your energy without your permission, it is being taken away from them and returned to you as this is justice. Okay, all evil and negative plans of your enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get our angel number message for the beginning of this mess. This uh, tarot reading, this message. It says, You have a heart of gold and are very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. I am generous. Okay, folks, there you have it. Let's go ahead and get into this reading. This is what we came here for. I know you all like the angel numbers, but what you really came here for is the tee hee hee, the drama, the terror reading, the truth, right? The information. Okay, this is just for entertainment purposes, let me say, because you know, I don't want anyone coming out here and say, hey, you told me this was going to happen. It didn't happen. For viewer discretions, this is all for a per uh, entertainment purposes okay wing wink collective wing wing so tribe let's go ahead and get into this we have an empress out here honey this is you collective you are going to be going through some type of growth this is something people have been trying to block and wanting you to go through some type of disappointment behind the scenes but you are being uh set free being lifted up everything is happening in divine timing balance is being brought into this situation so you can expect to go through some type of growth and this is unexpected for you your abundance everything is about to increase and you're going to be able to move on with your life do things your own way and be able to stay in this energy and connect with people that are like-minded as yourself so basically your soul tribe congratulations <laughs> Basically, your soul tribe. So congratulations, collective. This is beautiful. This is starting off beautiful. Let's hope this stays this way. You know, the karmics are always behind the scene, just a lurking, 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 talking about, hello. They said, no, there's nobody here for you. Leave us alone, okay? But anyways, you are about to be going through some type of growth, abundance, and this is something that is destined for you. You may be receiving some type of message um, from uh, maybe the courts, someone in the legal system maybe a pi maybe a police officer a judge or just something from the courts and it's going to be requiring you to take some type of action you may have to travel uh go somewhere move steadily move move his move hastily when you receive this communication this is going to be good news excuse me why i adjust my mic again i did the same thing in the last video you would think i would have this together but Hey, honey, we're all humans. Anyways, when you receive this message, absolutely take action. Move, move, and move, and move. Do not be hesitating. This is absolutely going to be good news. Something is being looked over. Something is being reconsidered. Uh, something is being studied because there may have been some type of false narrative going on, some type of fraudulent activities going on behind the scenes, and this is being cleared up. Something is being looked into injustice is taking place that someone is correcting something so if someone stole something from you or tried to block you from receiving something balance has been brought into the situation all these illusions and disingenuous connections and things like that false offers all of this is being brought to an end so you need to rest the show there's something that's been going on behind the scenes behind the scenes in regards to you that you did not know about but the whole time, spirit has been working on your behalf. You are taking some type of action or you will take some type of action to travel somewhere. And this is going to allow you to connect with your soul trap, uh, achieve success and things like that. So you're about to be working with people, baby. 
I'll tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. You're going to be working with people that are like-minded as yourself. You're going to be achieving abundance. You're going to be someone that's influential, very affluent. People are going to respect you, want to be working with you, collaborating with you. You're about to be in a union and have wish fulfillment. You could end up with someone very mature, either in age, in a character, personality, whatever this is, but it's going to be wish fulfillment for you. You're about to have it all. The money, the cars, the luxuries, honey, the love, companionship, everything, the family. Okay, you're gonna have every bit of it, and this is what people have been trying to block. If if people were able to block something from you in the past, honey, they were trying to break your heart and all of that, disappoint you, betray you, honey. Please, you always have better ahead of you. So let them have whatever it is they stole. These people are about to be going to jail or facing some type of legal issues anyway. So if something, yeah, they're gonna be having problems, problems, sorrows, sorrows, and disappointment. People are losing things behind the scenes that you don't even know about, okay? People's lives are disheveled right now, and you don't know this, and you're having yourself a good night's sleep while they're out there worrying, bothering, everything, having nightmares, not knowing what's about to happen to them. Am I going to be homeless? Yes, you're going to be homeless. Don't you worry. So if someone left you something and people tried to steal it, honey, it's being looked into. It's going to be returned to you. Everything is being looked into. As I said, there's an investigation going on here. And these people they didn't know that this whole time there was an investigation going on. And people are about to be being asked questions. And what you get this collective, they're only being asked this question, these questions for entertainment purposes. Because somebody, somebody, honey, someone don't someone don't want this message to come out, but it will come out, madam. It will come out, Oga. I beg. Shift, 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 shift. Somebody in law enforcement, whether this is a PI, whether this is a, like someone very high ranking in the justice system, has been investigating a situation. Again, it's split right back out on this five of freaking, pen, this three of pentacles, excuse me. Who? Someone has been investigating a group of people for a long time. At this point, he's exhausted, but he's committed to finding the truth out. They don't know who this person is. There could have been even another PI sent in this situation and he went rogue, right? He accepted some type of bribery in the situation. You know, they flashed him a little bit of money and he said, oh, you mean I can make that? And I, yeah, man, give me that. He took it. He sent some type of false letter into the court system and told them, oh yeah, this toxic group is telling the truth. She's a nutcase. He's a nutcase. They don't deserve this or they're, or they're dead or something like that. Honey, he lied. He lied. But he didn't know the whole time he was being investigated himself. Something like that is going on for some of you. And for others of you, there's a PI in here, a mature character that's dedicated to his badge. He respects that badge or she respects that badge. And honey, she ain't leaving no stone left unturned. Everything is being flipped upside down. Upside down, excuse me. My Liberian accent in English is kicking in. You, you all know what it is. Anyways, everything is being flipped turned upside down, just like Bel Air. Okay. So, honey, everything is known. So when they call these people in to ask them questions and things like that, you know what? It's all for entertainment purposes. They say, hey, do you know anything about this letter? No. I've never seen that before. Okay. Do you know anything about this letter? No, I've never seen that before. Oh, okay. Well, it shows that it was sent to you on June 21st. It was sent to you on June 21st at 1 p.m. It was sent to you on June 31st at 5 p.m. And you're telling us you don't know? Okay. Honey? Yeah. It's about to go down. Somebody in here is about to be going to prison for stealing. This could be a feminine energy. Listen, I said feminine energy and this came out. But anyways, honey, while all of those people are going through their chaos, their karma, getting a piece of the pie in karmic veil, you're elevating. You are elevating. Look at you, my darling. Look at you. You are about to be elevating. 
These people, some of them have been sitting behind the scenes, plotting your ending, wanting to see you out of this world. Honey, they will never have that satisfaction. But for entertainment purposes, let's give them the satisfaction on camera. One, two, and a three. Okay, that's enough of the dying for today. Let's get back to, to being alive. Excuse me while I turn my petty setting up. Oh. Maturity reactivated. Let's get back into this reading. Okay, so you are going to be connecting with someone or someone is going to be reaching out to you in divine timing to give you some type of communication. Someone may even want to apologize to you because they didn't see things clearly initially. And this has to do with your independence or something that belongs to you. The comics are fighting behind the scenes because of the illusions they cause. They are also fighting about some type of property, opportunities, abundance, all kinds of stuff. That has nothing to do with them. It don't belong to them. But they want it and they cannot have it. So they're fighting amongst themselves. They said, well, you said to do this and you did that. I didn't do that. They're fighting amongst themselves because they're cut. Karma is here. Mayat is here to collect. And nobody wants to pay. Maya don't care if you don't want to pay or not. She's here. That's all that matters. It's like I was sitting back and giving you time to do right. But you kept going. Someone in here, they and their sweetheart, baby, they're about to be so impoverished. It don't even make no sense. Someone thought he was secure. This could be a business owner. They thought he was secure. They didn't know who Jizzy Bell. And they thought they were secure. Their money was good. Oh, no, honey. I've been warning all of you because I know you're watching. You and your sweetheart are not secure, darling. Okay, you're about to be losing it all, darling. Every bit of it. Just like you stole, you are still, <laughs> I tell you a joke, but I will not tell you a lie. You and your sweetheart are thieves, just like the rest of these people in this group. And all of you are exposed, okay? You see, it's coming right after her, and she's only showing up as someone of high honor because what? She don't like to work. You work, you pay the bills, and she lives a la vida loca of the money you get and both of you from stealing. Okay, so that's why she's showing up as someone with high honor because of the luxurious items that she possesses from stealing from other people. These people have stolen from other people, not just you collective. They've still they've stolen from other people before. These are not rookies. Someone took a bit. Something he should have walked away from because he didn't know the full scope. He didn't understand what was going on and he still participated. Okay. Uh, someone had the opportunity to live right, do right, have some type of equal giving love or whatever it is. They said, nah, I want the money. So you get the money, the cars, the whole, 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 and you also get consequences. So you must do time. You must do time. Whether that's physical prison, spiritual prison, whether that's through poverty, which is what I'm seeing for the two of you, honey. Is here. It is here. Someone is getting desperate behind the scenes, or a group of people are getting desperate behind the scenes. So they're planning some type of ritual or game to cause you some type of tower to interfere with you receiving some type of abundance from the Most High. How can you interfere with the will of the Most High? Come on now. Are you all just here for entertainment purposes? I'm beginning to fathom the fact that you people really may just be here for entertainment for the rest of us, us star seeds. We're just supposed to be watching you or make a fool out of yourselves. I think this is what this is. Okay? Honey, there's a tower ahead of you people. You cannot stop it. You cannot block it. The tower is an act of God. Something taking place because of the most high intervening. And whatever you are, are planning with this ritual, this is what's going to be happening. The most high is going to be stepping in to bring an end to all of your plans before it even takes place okay so someone may be planning to come to your home collective to do you something honey it's going to be the worst mistake of their life because the most high is going to humble someone so bad so bad they're going to regret the day they ever saw the face of this earth okay oh yeah they have plans for you plans to unalive you plans to do you something plans to shake you up Someone wants to come to your home. If you have a divine masculine, they may even be planning on doing the same thing to him. Honey, it's not, I'm telling you, they're planning something. They are planning something. But you all are going to be able to end these chapters gracefully. Hold, yeah, you're going to go through a rebirth. 
start something new, new chapter, move on with your life, why your enemies are going through deaths and things like that, losing their homes, losing their stability, relationships. Some of these people won't even be in relationships after this chapter is over. By the time this chapter is over, I'm being corrected to say some of these, oh, he's my true love. She's my true love. I love her. It's going to be like, I can't stand that mother effort. Get away from me. You're the reason I'm in this situation. I shouldn't even be in jail. You see how fast that changed? Mm -hmm. Martyr yourselves. Destroy your own lives thinking you were destroying someone's innocent life. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You all should have gone back to the drawing board and wrote on there, we shall not come after the star sea. The star sea did not do anything to us. Their abundance does not belong to us. We need to make better choices. We need to find something better to do with our lives. Okay? I don't know why. Listen, I don't know why you all refuse to do the right thing, but this is where it's leading you. Your refusal to grow the heck up, mature up, and leave other people abundances and blessings and gifts lives alone. Okay? Okay. Don't say we didn't warn you. We did warn you. You're going from celebrating to, you know, being out in the cold and losing everything. There are people in here that drink quite a lot. Too much drinking. All they do is drink. And what they do is they get together, get drunk, and come up with these ridiculous plans on how they're going to take people down, destroy people's lives, and things like that. This is a whole ritual. And the whole time they're watching you all, collective, coming up with these devious plans on how they're going to end you. And none of it ever comes into fruition. There's something where the most high or your ancestors are causing some type of illusion for these people and let them think that they're successful. They have victory over you only to crash their hopes down. Like this is something that's been going on repeatedly. Time and time again. And someone in here considers herself to be of high value. This ain't no high value woman. This is nothing but a common thief, inexpensive stuff. I say that again. This is nothing but a common thief, inexpensive stuff. That's all she is. Come on. Anyways, these more rituals, they're thinking that you don't know what's coming in, what they're planning. But you know your ancestors are talking to you about it. You already know they're up to something. The karmics are always up to something. So you know they're planning something, but this, the Most High wants you to know that you are protected. There's something that's coming for you that you don't see. It is going to be something very abundant, telling you you're protected. You are secure. You have nothing to worry about. Your ancestors are protecting you, and you may have hidden helpers protecting you as well. Okay? Mm-hmm. Tower. So I guess your enemies didn't know this. They didn't know this. Okay, they're planning an ending for you in the most highest like I'm just waiting for you all to bust a mother effing move so we can just the position you all's life. Mm-hmm. Tower. Your ancestors are about to bring towers on people and they're telling you, honey, stay calm. Stay where you are. Don't lose your minds worrying about stupid stuff. Ain't nothing gonna happen to you. I'm telling you, you're protected. Your ancestors are protecting you. Everything is being exposed. You are secure. Okay, you are secure. Your new beginnings, everything, your 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 your, your future, your destiny. Ever, I'm telling you, your destiny, your destiny is all secure. There's nothing these people are going to be able to do to block it. At this point, they need to be figuring out. How they're going to manage not to drop that soap when they go in that penitentiary? Penna? Okay, penitentiary. Okay, penitentiary. Mm -hmm. I thought I turned my petty button off. I guess I did not. Let me try again. Oh. <laughs> Maturity reactivated. We'll see how long it lasts. They need to be worried about what the heck it is they're about to go through. You know when karmics are doing things? And you tell them don't do it, they turn a blind eye, they act like they don't hear you until they end up losing everything. And that is exactly what's going to happen. 
okay these people are watching you and you know they're watching you they're interfering with your messages your communications and things like that and you know that as well and every action they're taking is just securing their downfall they're just making sure that you know things go accordingly as far as them going through some type of ending they're blocking your communications because they want you to stay stuck in some type of situation but they're not getting their wish fulfillment whatever this is because i see the ace of cups out here if this has to do with love it's gonna come together fulfillment everything growth you're about to go through some type of abundance like it's gonna seem like it was overnight but it's not a lot of you have been working on your path your journey uh, uh, um meticulously right step by step one day at a time you've been taking things one day at a time so it may seem like it's overnight to some people but it's not uh-huh and they're not going to be happy but you don't care what does that got to do with you collective what does your success got to do with the price of tea in china huh I, nothing nothing not nothing i beg i beg i beg anyways some of you may be traveling after this truth is revealed, after balance has been brought, has been brought into this situation and stuff like that. So I will advise you to just, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. stay calm, stay collect, stay brave, be calm, be gentle. Okay, let me stop playing around. As you can see, these people are going to try to come. Then I tell you, someone's going to try to invite you to something. They still want to steal from you. There's some type of abundance you have attached to you that they want to steal and put an end to you. Honey, not happening. They want to send someone in, someone DVS. You may be familiar with this person or maybe this is the, this is the most tolerable, tolerable person in the group that knows how to sell their facade, that disingenuous personality, but they're nothing but a thief beneath the surface. Uh huh. But they know how to put on, you know, a custom come into your energy hey girl hey or they may send in a masculine that's into his looks he thinks because he's fine and he you know he's able to trick you or something like that they're gonna send one of those morons and idiots into your energy just be mindful you're gonna see right through them so this is hopeless look 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 at this person coming in because they know i have a ten of pentacles attached to my name i'm gonna be abundant so they want to come in and give me some type of disingenuous friendship so that they can be attached to me. Honey, please. We're not giving you no commitment. <laughs> okay, honey. Whatever these people stole from you, honey, it's been multiplied 10 times over. And you're going to be moving on with your life. Okay? The truth is being seen about you. You're business savvy. You're skilled. You're committed. You're secure. And the universe wants you to know that everything that your heart's desire, everything that's been destined for you in this lifetime, it is secure. Everything in your existence that is destined to you, it is secure. They are secure. No one can take that away from you. All of this hocus pocus is for your elevation, right? It's for your growth, your ascension. Nothing more, nothing less. But whatever is meant for you, you shall receive at the right time not a moment too early not a moment late not even a second late you're gonna receive it okay these people are trying to block someone from coming towards you and they don't even realize the person they're trying to block is not even the person that's meant to be coming into your life someone is getting real desperate someone is going to do something real stupid and it's going to be the last thing they do that's just going to steal their fit this is some a situation where, and I've said this before, you have a group of people that are invading someone's privacy and they don't realize their phone calls are being listened to, text messages being monitored, emails, all forms of communications are being monitored. And the whole time they are watching you invading your privacy, they're hee 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 ha ha in behind the scenes. And there's a whole detective sitting behind the scenes and watching every single one of them. Their phone calls are being listened to everything. Everything has been being recorded. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
baby there's a queen of pentacles that came up against you it's not looking too pretty for her she was expecting to get some type of good news about you being down and out being destroyed that you had, were going through some type of like she had caused a stalemate this is what they do they get they get together with their friends this is somebody's wife or mother that just does not behave like her age someone's very insecure imbalanced a little bit short on the intellectual side she's a little bit low on there she's buffering at the bottom because someone deals with a lot of insecurities so all she sees is spitefulness 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 i have to get back to this person you're getting back at someone that didn't do anything to you so how can you say you're getting back at them you might as well say i'm intimidated by this person so i must i must destroy so this person's brain is set to destroy other people that's the setting that's the only setting in this woman destroy other people and then sometimes it says self-destruct please don't do that honey you need to go get some help from therapy so this woman gets along with gets you know get, gets together with her friend or did listen someone don't want someone does not want this message out she gets together with her little karmic friends all they do is get drunk gossip that's all they do that's all they have in common and then come up with plans on how to cause stagnation in your life that's all they do they come together get drunk and while they're drunk they're coming up with these ridiculous plans on how to cause stagnation in your life because they are all intimidated by you they see you to have all the qualities within yourself that they don't have so you are a powerhouse and they it, it, it uh intimidates these people so they made it their mission to destroy you they're stolen from you possibly and stolen from other people there's a company that does this regularly there is a company that steals from its employees underhandedly and i don't mean just like paychecks and stuff like they have employees private information and they misuse those informations and they've been doing this for a long time this is bigger than some of you even realize there's an enterprise that even may end up going down like they're going to be exposed for something and someone in this enterprise has been so determined to take you down that he or she does not realize every action they have taken against you has just been exposing this enterprise the whole time corporation maybe it's just one uh, company whatever this is but someone has left one company to go and network with multiple other companies to cause you some type of ending and now they have multiple entities involved in something that they don't even realize how grand it is and they're all in some type of legal problem they cannot even uh, come to comprehend they thought it was all fun and jokes at first on the surface it always looks like that on the surface they always look calm and ready right <laughs> there i go with my m, &M. <laughs> reference again <laughs> on the surface it looks like you know we're just bullying one person we're just doing this we're just stealing from a couple of people no this goes a lot deeper it goes a lot deeper okay these people stole something grand these people did something grand and they thought they were going to get away with it they're not and as i said honey they're going to invite you to some type of gathering to cause you an ending do not go you don't need to go luckily for people like me I'm an introvert. I don't care to go to parties. You're wasting your time if you're sending me an invitation to come to a party. I don't party. I don't party. As a matter of fact, before you even send the invitation, my ancestors would have been told me, uh-uh, we don't hang with those people. They're too karmics. They don't want to heal. They're still stuck in some type of old paradigm. It's not that we're better than them, but with their mindset, we might as well be they refuse to heal so no 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 okay okay so the plan the new plan is i'm telling you honey for them to invite you to a party this is them giving you that false friendship offer false love offer to the party and then you go to the party and what happens they end up doing something to you do you something so don't go to any party from people from your past 
I don't even care if it's from your, your presence. If they, if they offer you something and you just don't feel like it, there's a reason why you don't feel like it. You're not meant to go because there's an ulterior motive to what they are doing. Okay? So this queen of pentacles here in the reverse, the woman that's intimidated by you, despise your energy because you're a queen of cups. Yeah, she has a problem with you because you're loving, you're pure, you're kind-hearted, you don't have ulterior motives for why you're kind to people. She does. She has a whole plan to invite you to their gathering just to cause more confusion. and say, hey, I invited Maria to the party and she's going to come. See, I told you Maria and I were on a good note. We came on to, we went on to calmer waters. We could reconcile with one another. So Maria is going to be here. Oh, this is just a, a manipulated tactic this woman does. This is just manipulation. And they don't know it. But behind the scenes, the group that she's a part of, they know everything that's going on. And the moment you arrive at that party, darling, this is you. Gone. What is this? Party? The party? Okay. The party. Don't go to the party. You don't need to party with these people. Party with spirits. Go meditate. Take you a sub bath. Paint your nails. Do your hair. Do something. But partying with these people will be the worst mistake you ever make in your life. And this is something they are planning meticulously. Hopefully they're watching so they know we are aware. We don't want to hang out with any of you because we know what you are planning for us. This is a ritual. This is a ritual. <laughs> it's a ritual by the enemy to take you down. They're desperate. They think if they take you out, then, oh, all of the consequences they stand to experience because of what they did to you will all be erased. Honey, it don't matter if you are here, if you are friends with these people, if you are not friends with them, if you are not here, their consequences are still coming. So if they're meant to go to jail, they're going to jail. If they're meant to lose their homes, they're losing it. Finances, losing it. Relationships, losing it. Everything that's meant to happen is going to happen accordingly. So there's really nothing they can do at this point to stop destiny. Okay? Destiny. Hey, they can't stop your destiny. Hey, they can't steal your destiny, baby. They cannot steal your destiny. So I wouldn't lose no sleep. You're just being given this information so that you are aware of what your enemies are planning behind the scenes. Okay? I'm telling you, they can't steal your destiny. Destiny. They can't steal your destiny. Come on now. They thought they were going to bring you a tower. You are secure by the most high. You're protected. You are protected. This is why they were inviting you. This They were going to send you a message. Have you stuck in your head? All kinds of stuff. Wondering if you should go or not go. And if you went there, they'd be. Yeah. Had their swords pulled out. It said, I will shot. You know how the summarize do in the movies? Yep. And then this would have been you. Farewell, my fellow good people. Out of here. You would have been like Sleeping Beauty, sleeping for thousands of years, except there would have been no kiss to bring you back to life because, honey, you would have been a gunner. Gone. Gone with the wind, but like. <laughs> This would have been you. Okay? Don't do it. You don't need to party with these people. You're not even a partier. If you're a star seed, like I'm seeing, honey, we don't party. We're not shenanigans. You know, shenanigans like to party. Shenanigans like to party. We don't party. We're not shenanigans. We keep to ourselves. Okay? We mind our business. We acquire higher knowledge, get acquainted with ourselves and spirit and our environment healing and things like that that's what we get acquainted with all that partying getting turned up getting drunk and all that stuff every day nothing it's not nothing for us and we're not judging these people okay i'm telling you we're too busy focusing on our elevation we are too busy focusing on our elevation our growth 
So if they were trying to have you go to some type of gathering so they could end you to cost you some type of tower, as you can see, it's not happening. You're going through some type of elevation in life. Okay. You're going through an elevation in life. What the heck was that? My, my cards just decided to sway on me. Sway. You need to sway those invitations when they come. And if someone tries to force themselves into your energy, they're going to regret it. I'm telling you. Nothing. You are secure. Your destiny is secure. You're secure. You're getting your wish fulfillment. You're being seen for who you are. The truth. Honey, you're moving, sailing onto common waters, about to be having new experiences, connecting with your soul tribe, working on your dreams, focusing on your dreams, staying in that positive energy. Here you are a healer, as you've always been. So you're going to get to go to somewhere and be you. Be yourself. Where these people cannot interfere with who you are, you can be free, free to be you, free to live, free to heal other people, free to be, free to be influential, everything. Fulfill your, free to fulfill your destiny, your purpose. These people are, I'm telling you, these people are intimidated by you. Some of them are even in competition with you to be you, but they like any of the qualities that you possess. Even the one with his sweetheart, she don't have none of these qualities. That's his sweetheart because what? Uh-huh. They have the same mind. They're just as devious. Honey, please. And this is the one that don't want people to know what they've been up to. Someone pretends to be the pillar of the community. I've said this a few times and he keeps popping up in my reads. Most of my reads are intuitive and he keeps coming up. Someone pretends to be a pillar of the community. They act like they do what's right on the surface. But behind the scenes, someone is a disaster. They're malicious. Someone's very dark. They'll do anything for money. Okay, someone is a liar. And they've been able to deceive their family, friends, and strangers for many years. Some reason they met you and they couldn't deceive you because you are a healer. You're a star. You know the truth. You're a truth teller. So you see right through people. You're a queen of cups too. Honey, you saw right through this man like a glass, a piece of glass. You know that commercial they used to have 90s babies. You remember that commercial they used to have with Windex and the birds used to not see the glass and they would push right into the glass. I think they took it down. I don't know why they took it down. Maybe uh, Peter made a noise about it or maybe some animal lovers made a made noise about it or something like that. I don't know. But you remember that commercial where, right? The black bird used to fly right into the window because the window was so clean. Yeah, someone, you met them and you saw right through them. It's that, oh, wait, 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 my veil, but my veil, my veil is here. He said, honey, I don't see that veil. I see right through you. He said, but I've had my veil up my whole life. My veil is a dark wall. It's taller than the wall of China. How are you seeing it? How are you seeing through my wall? It said, oh, honey, bless your heart. That's what the, the Southerner tells us when they, when they see us to be, find us to be real dumb. Bless your heart. That's what you said. <laughs> you saw this person acting a fool, being manipulative around you and things like that, and you just sat back and watched him. He said, bless your heart. If only you knew what I was or who I am, you would be going through this extent to deceive me. But bless your heart. And he's about to be exposed. You saw right through this person, honey. Because when you saw them, they said things that didn't make sense. So you asked questions. Maybe you didn't ask them the questions directly. If you're like me, you'll ask questions in ways people won't even know that you are finding the truth out about them. And before they find out, oh, honey, you can see them butt naked. It's like, I see you, but okay. I'm not going to say nothing, though. I not, yeah, you, you, you're dangerous. <laughs> you have those spiritual eyes, and you see everything. 
from a bird's eye view. You're just looking down and you don't miss a thing. You say, I see right through you. I see. I'm looking down at mankind from up above high. And I see them acting a fool. But I'm going to be quiet until the time comes for me to say something. Yes, honey. You see right through these people. All of their scenes are just out. This is like you see people when they walk when they walk around, you see all of the demons that are following them, all the entities that are attached to them, and then they come to you. And what do they do? They show all 32 teeth filing with you, and you're just like, Lord, if only you knew what I know, you would put those teeth right back in. Some of these people you feel sorry for them because they think there's i'm telling you honey this woman here ain't going through nothing beautiful nothing beautiful at all you feel sorry for them but honey they made their own bed and they have to lay in it they dug their own graves and they have to fall in it somebody got to fall in the grave and you're not volunteering to fall in the grave like this so who's gonna fall in the grave i bet the person that dug it now you have to reap your own harvest you have to reap what you sow right you put in the work you got to get the benefit so the benefit is you getting to lay down calmly in this grave and we wish you farewell okay now honey let's get back to here this woman ain't going through nothing pretty okay this is someone greedy this is someone just being <sighs> i keep hearing low iq every time this woman <laughs> every time i look at this woman someone is very malicious very malicious and she's going through some type of ending. Some type of ending. Okay? This woman is going through some type of ending she didn't see coming. And I really don't know why she's showing up here as a queen of pentacles. It could be that because she's a, she's someone's mother, someone's wife. Maybe she's a business owner. She could be like, a, like the head of an institution. And she's a nightmare for these people. It's something like that going on. But she received some type of bad news about her stability, her position, maybe the institution she was working with is not willing to help her. Something of that nature, honey. Listen, I'm telling you. They're not willing to help her. Someone is trapped with these people. There's a whole investigation going on. I, I mentioned it earlier and the car came out. Someone's wife mother baby mama whoever this is is going through some type of investigation this whole clan is going through an investigation and you are about to be leveling up mm -hmm. all the way up nothing can stop you you're all the way up hey all the way up nothing can stop you you're all the way up baby the universe is about to shine on you, smile at you in the most beautiful way. And this is what you've been waiting for. Some of you know, you just intuitively know that there are blessings and abundances coming your way. And you're just like, Spirit, when is this blessing coming? You keep telling me it's coming, but when is it coming? I beg, I want to know when is it coming? Some of you are getting frustrated. Don't get frustrated with the most high now. Okay, don't get frustrated with the most high. You don't want to cause any type of stagnation in your in the in the speed, in your blessings coming to you. You already have morons out here causing stagnations for you and things like that. It's not really stagnation. I gotta correct myself. This is the period of period of growth. Your eyes being open, your spiritual eye being strengthening. So you can know people when you see people. You can see people at eye glance and say, uh-uh. Your walls are not thick enough. I can still see right through you. You're not, your lies are not good enough. I can still tell you're lying. I know you committed yourself to an oath, but I still know you're lying. But I'm not about to argue with you. Because I already know what's up ahead for you. You sign a deal with the devil, honey, you're still going to have to pay that price. And I hope you're discommitted to this lie when the truth comes out. When your face is plastered on the news and everything is out there. Okay? There's something 
I was watching that Cat Williams video, and as much as I wanted to say it, feel like he's he's honest, that's someone that tells half truth and half lies. But he's so good at doing it, you don't know people people with people that don't have all of their senses intact would think that he's a truth teller. No, his master had to combine the truth and the lie together. If you have to add a lie to it, it's a whole lie. A half lie, a half truth is a whole lie. But he said something where he said there was something about what the uh, people in the entertainment industry do. What is the one thing they do, the people that sold, sell their soul? They'll deny it. It was something along that line. I'm not saying it word for word, but it was something like that. People that have made a deal with the devil, people that have sold their soul, people that have committed themselves to some horrendous contract, the number one job they have to do is to pretend like it never happened. Pretend like it's not happening. Pretend like it's not true. And they are thought how to be how to do this. Believe it or not, in coats and clothing, these kind of toxic groups and things like that, you have someone that will teach them how to keep a, a, a B resting face. They don't show any emotions. They know how to play it up. They have to pretend like nothing is affecting them, nothing is going on. You know why they do this? Especially when they go to interrogations. They're supposed to keep that facade and act like they don't know about nothing that's going on. And this is why a lot of them are narcissists. This is why when you go to confront a narcissist, one, you really should never confront a narcissist alone. But like police officers, PIs, and things like that, when you are interrogating a narcissist, it is absolutely imperative for you to have hardcore evidence that they cannot refute, right? I mean, I need you to have a picture of them holding the bang, 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 and they cannot refute it. So when you put that picture on the table and say, is this you? Silence, silence, silence. That's how narcissists work. So the people in these covens and things, they are thought how to be narcissists. You need to have evidence. One thing a narcissist hates is evidence. Because they need to be able to deny everything you're saying so they can get away with their nonsense. But once you can pull out evidence, oh, honey, you just learn how to shut a narcissist up. This is when they want to make a deal. This is when you tell them, well, you're going to get locked up for 25 years. And, you know, Billy is only getting two years or Billy is just getting pro probation. What? Uh-uh, you know these narcissists love themselves too much. Uh, 25 years, 25 years for what? Mm -mm. Billy was just as involved as I was. And you're telling me I'm going to do 25 years and Billy is getting probation? Oh, no, 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 no. Whatever deal Billy got with you, I want that deal. Well, that's how you get a narcissist. Evidence, not just talk. And these cults and Corbins, they teach them how to be narcissists. They keep they teach them how to pretend that nothing is going on. I would know because I got away from a Colvin, a cult, not too long ago. And they all were thought how to act like they didn't know anything was going on. Pretend like it's not happening. That's what they're good at. So whoever is investigating this case here oh honey he knows you are as ammo he knows how you operate someone has been watching you all from afar for a long time and you didn't even know it someone could have even been within you all's mist and you didn't know they were on F uh, uh you, oh fbi was about to come out oh 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 on fbi oh lord have mercy oh yeah i remember a year ago about a year ago yeah about a year ago i had a dream of an fbi agent doing some type of investigation on a group of people this is it here this is it oh yeah honey and i saw him to the t 
I can see this man today and describe him to the T. So, sir, I seize you. I seize you, sir. This man has been investigating you all for a long time. And every time you went and collected a new member of the low down Carmichael, and you told him, hey, let's go drive down Carmichael lean. And they got on that lean with you, that, that FBI police officer, whoever, he wrote down their name and he looked into them. He said, oh, yeah, another one. He's behind the scenes like DJ Kelly. Another one. Check. Another one. Check. Another one. Check. And he's just a check-in. By this point, this man is exhausted checking. He's tired. He's tired. But you all are entertaining. You give him sauce. You all motivate him because just when he thinks it's over, here comes another one. Check. And someone has been paying the another the, the another ones. Hey, hey, hey. That's 10 grand. Hush, don't say nothing. Act like you don't know. Just when she if she says anything, if he says anything, just play it off. You don't know who we are. You've never heard of us. What you don't know what we do, nothing. Mm -hmm. They didn't know they were added to the list. You are are under investigation. And you're all gonna be answering for what you did. Okay? And someone in here is gonna be singing like a canary. I mean, when they tell him, her, how much time you're about to be fizzing? Oh, baby. Mm -mm. The friendships will be over. <laughs> what friendship? Huh? What friendship? Uh-uh. Friendship? Friendship with who? I don't know that person. Listen here. You're progressing. Three, four, six. You are progressing. Oh, and it's another six. Listen, you're about to be meeting with your soul tribe. New alliances, genuine people that think just like you. You're about to be receiving abundance and growth, going through some type of like acceleration, like you cannot even imagine. Okay. And meanwhile, your enemies will be singing like a canary. It says. You are highly creative with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged. It reveals itself in everything you do, from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects. I am inspiring. Listen, people, listen, folks, this is my most prized project, okay? I don't know what yours is, but whatever it is, I am sending you positive energy, lots of pure white light so that it is prosperous and abundance and it brings you a lot of joy okay okay 31 for protection security support from uh divine beings your angels the heavenly realms looking over you and supporting you people in here are upset because i have protected you are mm, mm. anyways your approach to your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination your mind is staring with creative ideas and you have the organizational skills to manifest them to life i am disciplined on me let's not talk about how i had to learn to be that oh baby <laughs> and i'm still working on it we tell the truth on this platform i'm still working on this aspect of myself because i'm this I'm, I'm a free listen in my mind i like to do things when i like to do them i don't like to be told what to do this is something i struggle with when i was younger i didn't realize that that was my problem and i would realize that when people were telling me what to do i would get pissed off i didn't know why i was pissed off but apparently this was why i'm just meant to be like just leave me be just leave me be I had a dream. I used to wonder too why I was so set on just doing things my way because I can be very stubborn. But I remember I had a dream where I went back in one of my past lives 
and I was a pharaoh in their lifetime. I was a female pharaoh, dressed in purple, very elegant looking, very stoic looking on the outside, but in the inside, I just wanted to be free. And there were like festivities going on around me. People were celebrating. There was joy and laughter going on, but I couldn't participate because of my rank, right? So it was like I was living outside of society and it was a burden for me. And I ended up running away from the palace, from my duties. So I abandoned my duties because I wanted to be free. And so when I had that dream, it made it, it put two and two together for me. I said, oh, that's why I don't like to be told what to do. That's why I just moved to the beat of my own drum. I'm a bit of a rebel, right? I do things my way. I'm a little bit awkward when you meet me. I'm eccentric. Baby, eccentric is an understatement. The things that come out of my mouth, out of this world, but it makes me happy. No ill intent for people, but it makes me happy. So I'm going to stay true to myself. And I think people have, you people have problems with that. I think that's part of your, your, your problem too, Collective. These people don't like the fact that you're free-minded. They don't like the fact that you're free. They're part of something that confines them. They feel restricted. And then here you are, free to be you, living as you please, making your own decisions. And they can't do that. But I just said, after I had that dream, two and two clicked together for me, I said, oh, so this has been me, my whole existence. Because if I'm seeing myself as a female pharaoh, that had to be a long, long time ago. Because women weren't always allowed to be pharaohs. So this had to be a long, long time ago. Okay? So we had six out here. Moving on to calmer waters healing, ascension, okay? It said your love for others, hmm, your love for others is powerful and you are able to spread your gift of support far and wide. Your curious and social nature brings, brings you in contact with a variety of people, all who will benefit from your warm, heartfelt words of wisdom. I'm wise. <coughs> I am wise, excuse me. Anyways, that is the read for tonight, folks. I am going to see you in my next video, or you're going to see me in my hands being extra on the screen. But thank you for watching. Stay blessed, and goodbye for now.